no freeze pop? It just ate it all. You ate before we started? We took long, too long to get it started. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. That's RJ. Alright, in the chapel today we've got Jeremiah 29-11. You want to read it? For I know... For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So, those graduates and people taking different paths and that, just remember to have faith in Him and all will be well, correct? Um, everything's going to be just fine. Isn't there a song about that? <laughs> He's tired again. All right, in the barn cells, what do we have going on with the animals? The outside horse, the one with the ulcer that we talked about on the Kool-Aid. Yep, he's doing good. He's doing good. Um, it, it, he was given a pain reliever and he went back to drinking some, and he also is on ulcer medication, correct? And we have been in contact with his owner, and his owner um, was kind of worried that he'd wasted his money on the first 30 days because he didn't realize the horse was in pain. Um, but I don't think he, you did, did you? Because he does a lot of groundwork and he's very sound on the ground. So the other horse that we have, we, uh, Moose, he's he hard to stay. Um, the other horse that we have is going back. And what did you find out about him? That he was really bronchy as a three year old. So they quit working with him and just turned him out. And that just seals the spike, right? Yeah. It's going to take more training than the man wants to send money. He doesn't want to put any more money into him. Um, and it's going to take months to get him to where he needs to be because now he's older. The bucking got him turned out. He didn't he's have to work. Stronger. He's, he's that been... much stronger. Yeah, big deal there. He went to doing what to you? Kicking. Yep, already had a little hoof print in his chest. Huh. He wasn't a little one, but, <laughs> but uh, anyway, he's, he's been like get away with a lot of this stuff. And we talk about training horses, um, young colts that haven't had anything done with them. RJ's finding is his favorite, huh? Yeah, because like Cavayu and Storm, we can start them right. The worst kind of thing is to have to fix it after somebody else has already messed it up, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so we have him. We've got the little calf with the cast on her leg. Yep. How's she doing? Good. Okay, we didn't get any shearing done this week though either, did we? No. No. So we still have <laughs> those three U's and let's show them what you're doing. We still have the three U's to do and the men. One battery pack to the other. <laughs> it's charging a battery pack. With a battery pack. The both supposed to be fully charged. No, I used one. I pulled one off. But anyway, um, what else we got going on in the box stalls? The army of eight is Stuff. ready to find new homes, right? Stuff. So yeah. anybody that's looking for We're playing your game. It's not how low can you go. It's how high can you get. Yes. They are climbing everything. Having they, they a blast. They were even on top of the rope. So yep. They, yep. They want to see how high they can get. I'll take pictures of them. That'll be my Facebook yep. post for the next week. So... Anyway, um, anything else in the barn stalls? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, I just want to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, what about the horses? Come on. They're fuzzy and four-legged and out there. How's Whiskey doing? Seems to be doing pretty good. I heard her yesterday. Okay, she seemed to be still up a little bit. And then yeah, last week, so I turned her out for a little bit. Okay. Alright, anything She felt else? pretty good yesterday, so... Okay, many says, what's broke down? Still haven't gotten the alternator for the truck. Everything. Gotta go and get the alternator. I just haven't had time. Right? Yeah. So, okay. Then, let's see what else is broke down. I said, you say everything. Really, what? I don't know. I just want to say everything. That Dealey Whopper is. What Dealey Whopper? I don't know, it's been you now, so I just called it deal offer. There's nothing else broke down. We have a fan that went out. Yeah, we broke a fan. fan. It's a house fan. An air conditioner oh. that went out. Yeah, that dealy walker. That's, That's the dealy walker. 
Yeah. Um, so That's the important We don't have central water. heat in the air, but we use um, small window units. Like this one. Yes. Over there. And one of them, one of the smaller ones for the bedroom, one of the smaller ones for the bedroom, one out. Just won't. It didn't go out, it just won't come on. <laughs> right? So we put the um, window units in this week and we're down a window unit. The one in my bedroom kind of is starting to sound terrible, but they're the smallest ones because our bedrooms aren't very big, right? So um, they're just little inexpensive and we get about, what, two, three years of use out of them. So anyway, all right. You covered your thing, you know, and what to do next. What? I know what to do next. It's a cookie in the mouth. <laughs> Alright, so, in the yarn farm, what event did we have going on here on the farm yesterday, last night? Hmm? Fireflies and stargazing, and this year we implemented teaching them um, moon, stars. Um, we ended up doing sunrise and sunset. No, I did it back with sunset and sunrise. Um, and we used B for bug because all the little ones couldn't do the three B U G. I only had one, Tavion did, and he couldn't remember them. He's what, seven? He was our oldest. About a year tall. Yeah. He, so, he wants to be my intern. He told me already he wants to be an intern. He wants grandma to come out. I need a drink. Go get me. I'm not sharing my water. I'm not sharing my water. Go. I don't know what I want to drink. There's water and peps right there on the bar. Take your pick. Um. Can you guys think? I'll give you a second to answer. Okay. Tea. That's what he needs to drink. Thank you for your opinion. <laughs> that would take him into great consideration. Okay. How anyway. do they know? I mean, how do they know I'm not going to take their opinion into great consideration? I could that. Because here in a few minutes you're going to go get a drink because you're not going to make it through the whole podcast. Then they'll see that you didn't really listen and they won't comment anyway. Well, they're supposed to tell them. Like, just sitting here walking and watching. They walking? Just, <laughs> just sitting here walking. I think somebody's a little tired. All right, so anyway, we had, oh, a good dozen people down here, or out here, and they had a blast. We started out in the barn. We made our paper plate fireflies and our bookmarks to color. Um, I went through my little book of facts on the fireflies. Um, we talked about a word to use for poop that doesn't get you in trouble. Son, what is that word? Scat. Um, we tried to identify some scat. Really, all we found, I think, is either coon or possum. But we had one that was really into scat. Um, so, and he knew that he wouldn't get into trouble for saying scat because it was out here. But, um, and then we talked about tadpoles, the life cycle of a frog, um, all kinds of stuff. And then we head down to the pond with jars for bug catchers and just you name it we had it there was kids with nets and everything and after watching the moon cycle and checking an app Christina it was so funny because she was here and she's like I checked the app and I was like I didn't check the app but it's been out for three days so I thought it would last night it was jet black no moon at all so and the app said it should have been three quarters or a half I can't remember but like full half so, yeah, no moon, and there's no clouds, it was beautiful. The stars were amazing. So. I said moon was out the other night. I know. And it was like almost daylight out there. I, I, I know. And last night. You were yelling at me, I took two on her open, but I was like, I can still see. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, last night there was no moon. And Christina, she was so funny, she actually pulls up her app, she says, look. Look, it says it's supposed to be this. I said, yeah, well, your app is wrong. Look, my so, hamburger cookie. Yes, so RJ used to do that all the time and then eat two of them at a time. Hamburger uh, cookie. All right, in the field. I did not get my um, update done. I'll do that 
today. Go down in that you garden. You didn't? No, I didn't get my garden update done. Well, why not? Well, I had it in video, and even if I edited it and put it up now, it's not going to be up to date, and I need to do another one anyway. So, but You're I have slacking. Something. I know. I worked. That's I didn't no have excuse. any day. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a darn good excuse. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Everybody tell her it's not a good excuse. And I'll let you know why. All right. Anything else in the field? Um, things are getting done. I, RJ's going to get the other two headers, I hope, right after this podcast so that I can get the inside headers put up. And then once the trusses go up and the tin goes up, I'm super excited. So, um, All right. In the farmhouse. I work because... Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but my boss was in a wreck, so I hadn't had a day off in a few. I had a Memorial Day off, and how'd that go for me, son? Well, really, Dad worked overtime. He got home, and what did he have to do? My mouth full. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna tell him, are you? My mouth full. Okay, so, rule number one in this house is you don't leave without a spare. The spare to the trailer was in the gold truck, which has no alternate. It's actually pulled off. I just got to go get the other one and have him put it on, and then it should be good. So, he left the spare in the truck that doesn't run. And, wouldn't you know it, two hours from the house, he had a blowout. So he limped the rodeo, juggled some tires around so that he could get it in with just one short. Cause you only had how many miles to go? I had 15. Wipe them out. She had chocolate on it. Uh, and so don't. Come on, this is a good one. Dang it. I have work shirts in, and ones that are decent. He always does that for decent ones. I'm going to kill him. <sighs> <laughs> He thinks it's funny. <laughs> ah, this is why all my shirts are stained up. It's just a little chocolate. Son, <laughs> it stains. Why didn't you do it to your shirt? Because it would stain. You can't reach most of it. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Dork. Here, let me get that. Get away. I will fix my own stain. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, is I have wore this one time this is a large and all my others are extra large and because I'm losing weight I had to go down to a smaller size Ugh. one time I wear it and he stains that it that was up. priceless <laughs> no it's not <laughs> yes it was anyway alright now just for that tell them how ignorant you were being with the trailer tire so you limped, limped it, it to the rodeo and then what were you going to try and do I drive it home how many horses on board? Three. How much does each horse weigh? A thousand pounds. How hot was it? A hundred and something. Felt like. It was 101, I think. And that makes the concrete well up over um, 140 or 150. And hot on your car tires is not good let alone hot on trailer tires with 300 pounds in them and being one short and he thought it was a good idea to try and drive home what did we come up with for a solution i didn't think it was a good idea i just thought it would make mm -hmm. um mom's and dad over with the tire force yep lesson learned the hard way do you ever leave home without a spare no i guess not Okay. And then <laughs> we drove to, went to leave the radio to death yesterday. We got to know water, which is like 11 miles, and we had another flat. 11 miles, and he has another flat. Now, here's the thing that flat would have happened sooner if it hadn't been for equal distribution of weight. You know, we didn't just run over a nail. I mean, son, it's going to happen happened. in God's time. It's going to happen no matter what. You're just lucky you weren't on the road, one tire short, and have a blowout. Because the very next time he hauled that trailer, it had a flat. 
Piggy, piggy, piggy. And yeah. where was your spare? Well, it was a <laughs> tire shop. Because we blew out the tire. Uh, okay, so he's trying Mindy, to get the, the uh, tires fixed yeah. on the first blowout. Yeah, we blew out the one tire. And because Mindy always drags our trailers places, she offered to pay for, for the new, tire. New tire. Because she, she said, uses our trailer, trailer a lot. As much she as just we borrows do. it. Yeah. Because I'll just buy a tire since I was driving and I'm always borrowing it. So I said, okay. And so it we. Sounded fair enough. Yeah. Right? It was we uh, stopped at the tire shop. She had one, and the dude, neither one of us could get there when they were open. So the guy just left it out by the bay door. He On said, the rim and everything. Yeah, there was two or three others out there. People were coming to pick up too. And he goes, I'll just leave you guys' tires out there. You can come get them this weekend. So we stopped to get the tire. And we jump out, go to grab the tire. And I look at the trailer, and there's a tire that's just going. <laughs> so they have to put the spare mm, on the ground. On the ground, and take the one that's going. Uh, yeah. So never, ever, ever leave home without a spare. Now, what did you also? Unless you want, like, sit, unless you enjoy sitting on the side of the road. Yeah. Um, now I also brought up some stuff because. The person that he was hauling with kept saying, oh, I've taken a three axle in on one tire. Now, here's the thing, okay? And I'm just gonna put this out there. If you've ever done that, you're an idiot, okay? Because if it's a three axle, you've got three tires on the other side, and for perfect weight distribution, you should have popped one off and utilized two axles, okay? But, RJ was hearing stories about, oh, I brought a three axle in with just one tire on one side. Why would you even do that? But did you not hear that story? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've got three tires on one side and one on the other, for equal distribution, why wouldn't you take the time to take one off the three-sided one and put it on so that you've got two and two? Isn't that safer to do? Probably. So, anybody that says that they've ever done that is just in my opinion, an idiot, okay? It puts horses um, at risk. It puts your truck at risk. And son, what did I show you on newsreel after newsreel? What happens a lot of times when you have a blowout on a trailer? What did you see in the pictures? Wreck. Wrecks, as in fatality wrecks. So it, it's very common, um, Especially because the trailer can go one way, the truck can go another, and it just slings everybody anywhere. So, um, it's not as easy to control a, well, how much does the trailer weigh? How much does our trailer weigh? I don't know. 2,000 pounds? Like so a ton? Plus you add three horses on there, so you're talking 5,000 pounds? Easy? Right? Now, put a blowout on that and see how easy it is to, to control. So anyway, that's your lesson in this, and that's in the farmhouse. So how'd you rodeo and go? Once you got there, do any good? One second. Yep, that's where I have the money to pay for all the blown out tires. Um, and then you went last night. Mm-hmm. And how'd you do? When we left, uh, it's a two-day rodeo, and it pays out tonight. So when we left, we were winning the team roping, and I was winning third in the gift roping. So. Okay, did anybody check after the slack last night for team roping or no? I didn't check the team roping. Uh, I didn't know anybody that was there last night the team roping slack, but I called a guy that was in the kiff roping and said nothing got done, so I still went in third. So. That's good. We'll see. We'll know tonight. Yep. Alright. Anything else going on in the farmhouse other than Moose is going crazy be out there? You can suck it up. It's hot. Fine, I'm good. Yes. Um, yeah, let me up so I can go get my thing and show them what I'm on, on the porch. Well, you can't just leave the camera on dead air. Well, then come back here and you talk while I go get my thing. Well, hang on a second. He's going to get the dog. Anyway, okay, so in the farmhouse we really haven't done a whole lot. Just gotten ready for our fireflies and bug thing and kids had a great time. I remember thinking, I am 50 years old. And what, most You're all right. It's all right. Um, but most people, when I was younger, I think if I was going out or something, you know, dressing up, that's what I'd shave my legs for. Last night, I got home. RJ got gone. 
and I ran in and shaved my legs so that the kids could see me in shorts without hairy legs. So yeah, I shaved my legs to go play in the pond with mud and bugs and frogs. <laughs> So, boy, how times change. Like I said, when I was a teenager and younger, it was all about, ooh, I'm going out, I'm going to shave my leg. Now it's like, oh, we're going to play in the pond. I'm going to put shorts on, got to shave my legs. All right, here's our day. Okay. This is what I did this week, folks. I made a rope. But this is not any ordinary rope. It's about 10 foot long. And if you get really, really desperate, it's not a very good one. It's kind of bad uh, <laughs> junk, but it's a phone cable. See, you plug this in into the whole thing, and then right up here you can plug your phone in. And it does not work very good at all, folks. So I tied it into a little rope. And I proceeded to rope moose with it, too. It works really good. All right. Let me in, or are you going to go on the inside? I just want you to jump over. <laughs> here, you can show my project then. Okay. I know. It's, it's kind of popped up. Dumb. It still doesn't work. Now you can fix it. Watch. No, please don't. Okay. You just take this and you... So I am making a uh, sweater kind of type cover up. Um, and it will be a, what do they call them? Pole shoulder. So here is the side that I've got quarter. I'm deciding how wide to make this and I'm actually thinking I'm going to do one more row just because. What do you think? Looks good. I'm not even looking. You're messing with the yarn. I think I'm going to do one more. That would make it one, two, three, four, five rows and then um, I think I'll fix it. Again. you're messing with it. Anyway, so that'll be that, and then I'll do the center section at the same height as this. I don't like this part, I don't care. You can't rope, huh? No. <laughs> but anyway, this is, I'm figuring it out as I go, so there's a lot of doing and then frogging. Are you allowed to rope around the neck? No, but you won't let me out, so you're not allowed to hold people hostage <laughs> and kidnap them. Either. I'm not holding you hostage or kidnapping. You, you are too. You won't let me out. Climb under. <laughs> You're contemplating it, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, anyway, so I haven't gotten this far because I do rip out and I had to make the different... Like three times. Well, because I had to get the height right in order for it to swoop right. So... Come here, Moose. Oops. Moose. Son, let go. And where did you rope him at? I had it on his belly until he started running backwards. Anybody want a roper? <laughs> Anybody I want a phone cable? I'll sell it now. <laughs> As a rope. It's a fancy one. It's a real fancy. It's for... It doesn't charge anything. In um, a pinch, you can make it charge a hair bit. Okay, you just gotta wiggle it and hold it and you just try it. What else did we do? Um, you and I ran over to Bartlesville, right? And what did you buy? For the first time in his life, he bought all of his own. Two pairs of jeans and a pair of boots. A. I like to win broke, folks. It's <laughs> expensive. <laughs> it's expensive, but he did it himself. He'd won it's money. Expensive. And so he bought boots. He bought one good pair of jeans. He's got a certain kind that he likes for rodeo and dress. And then he bought a, a little $10 pair because... Couldn't afford two good ones. <laughs> How much are your good ones? 36 That was just Pepsi. That was sweet. And I was thinking water. <laughs> I don't even know why. Anyway, next, so you went broke. What did we do while we were over there? We kind of took an evening, I beat some mom time at a game of bowling. FYI, folks. You did not. I did too. I bowled over 100 that one game and beat you. Waxed you right across the floor. We traded. We did not <laughs> trade. 
You just decided you, you were started... gonna try and match me, and then I got. <laughs> oh, out of that's it. right. That one game, he got lucky. Oh my gosh. So, first, we we're just messing around and having fun. Um, you were trying to beat me. I mean, you could tell at, she was getting his after. Feet. I was getting and mad were... because I decided. I said, I'm just gonna match you. So, well, I'm pretty, pretty kept much her gutter balls, but yeah, I pretty much was good at it for. How many? Three frames, and I threw three or two four strikes. frames. Like I did exactly what he did. Then he started getting lucky, and he doesn't even put his fingers in the holes. He just rolls it down there, and he starts getting all these strikes. And I got so, the groove, man, I got the groove. No, what was it you said? You got more power. Yeah, more power. That's what I kept saying. Just throw it hard, more power, more power. I was throwing the ball as hard as I could. <laughs> it was going at about 50 miles an hour at times. Yeah. I threw mom kind of like a little bitty light ball, and I had this big old heavy ball, and I could make it like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could make it like bounce around down there. Bing, 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 bing. Look at pinball machine. But we had fun, right? Mm -hmm. And I won one game. And he won one game. Because I started out trying to match him, and I shouldn't have messed around. <laughs> you still weren't going to win it anyway. Did you break a hundred? Mm-hmm. How many times? One. <laughs> yep. So. Then I decided I was going to bowl for mom. Like, she ran to get a drink, so, and I was waiting. And I threw one, and I got a strike for her. <laughs> yep. It does automatic scores. It's all digital, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else going on? What? I gotta get that date. Told you. Oh, I'm gonna speak. 23rd, June 23rd. Mm. What? Okay. I had to run. I had to open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so June 23rd is ladies' night here on the farm. We are going to um, have just ladies out, grown ladies, adults. Um, if you're interested in coming, get a hold of me. We're going to, you're to bring your own beverage and a, sh and a snack to share. You can sh share your beverage if you like. If you are bringing an adult beverage, you will drop your keys at the front door or have a designated driver. Um, and we're not even going to, okay, stop. We're not even going to put any doubts on it. The RJ will be in charge of giving you your sobriety test if you choose to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and we Sober will do it on camera. Yeah. Can barely pass this one, folks. So, um, All right. if, if you bring an adult beverage or you're caught drinking an adult beverage, you leave your keys. Um, we're not going to have, if you drink a little too much, whatever, you'll be sleeping it off in the barn. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget With to bring the a sleeping bag. Huh? Which is the army of eight hooligans. Yes, the eight hooligans. But, well, and I'm sure there's a couple of us. I know one lady who says she's not going home. She brings a sleeping bag. She doesn't want to drive after dark. She's like, I'm camping out there whether I drink or not. She says, I'm bringing a bottle of wine and I'm coming. And she says, it doesn't matter if I get drunk, I'm not leaving. So if you plan on coming out, you won't be alone because there'll be at least two of us staying the night. <laughs> Well, I hope there's at least three of us, because I don't really plan on leaving. You'll be in the house, not in the barn. Oh. It's ladies' night. The only thing you are is a sober police. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not planning on leaving. I mean, I but we'll open the farm that night at 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. um, and we're going to... We'll have our spinning wheels out there. Anybody can come by and try them. Um, you don't have to stay on. You don't have to drink. You don't have to... But we're just going to have a fiber night. Um, we can go down to the pond, we can look at the stars, the moon, be in the garden. I, I'm going to try and get everything mowed. Oh, there you go, mending fences. What'd you do to my lawnmower? I don't know. It has something to do with the hill, okay? Because... Oh, that's not... Sorry. Oh, Pepsi, you like Pepsi. I like Pepsi. I don't want it right now, and it's too early. It's like 10 in the morning. I don't Not think early enough. I need a lot more. <laughs> The lawnmower was not my fault, Mom, all right? I fixed it, and then I broke it, all right? Anyway, I'm going to mow and have everything, and then we just will be here on the farm 
at night. All day, I every know. day, folks. So, All day long. Um, it'll be fun. It's just going to be fun. Holy so. cow, I can hold my foot up with this. See, it's off the ground. Anyway, alright, anything else? Ooh, ooh, I can't do You're going to strangle yourself. I am not. Okay, As my head you. goes pop. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get off of here and get this posted. And I'm going to go run down and do a garden update because, like I said, I filmed it and then I didn't get it put up and now it's not an update. It's fine. So, a lot of rain and things are growing and the stupid goat keeps getting in there. I'm going to get after her. So I got my rope. Let's go get this goat. Mm -hmm. All right. You need to say goodbye. Bye, bye, folks. Till the next time. We will see you next time. Have a boy, good weekend. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, and I didn't talk about what I'm doing. I'm making goat's milk ice cream. My boy, 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 okay, boy, okay, bye. boy, boy.